Hello everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Valpo Basketball Week along with head coach Matt Lodick. This is Todd Eichow and it's a, it's a new year and, and coach, maybe the new year's coming right in time. Obviously, it's been, December was difficult. Yep, no doubt about and, it. And now you kind of turn over the calendar. I give you, maybe just give us some overall thoughts on what has changed since the 8-0 start. You know, I, I don't know if... Um, a lot of things, obviously. Yeah, no, obviously there's been a, a lot of stuff that's changed. and. Um, you know, for us, um, you know, we've had you know key players that have been out. Um, you know, starting with Tavon, and then you know, most recently Joe. Um, I think um, you know, with a young team, sometimes um, you know there can be highs and there can be lows. There can be some inconsistencies, and I think um, a little bit we've lost our confidence, um, especially on the offensive end, especially from the outside, um, just not hitting a lot of shots. And so, um, you know, for us, it's um, you know, it's a process, and there's no doubt about it. And and our guys have. Um, you know, continue to practice hard. Their spirits have continued to be high. Um, and, you know, we have no choice um, but to continue to try to get better and, um, you know, optimistic moving forward, um, you know, excited about, um, you know, obviously the return of Tavon. Um, I think he sparks us, excited about, um, you know, some of the performances that we've seen. Um, but we've just got to be a little more consistent um, on the offensive end specifically um, if we're going to start winning some Valley games. I've always felt over the years that like continuity and consistency would come yeah. together and <clears throat> you know Bryce Drew was really big on all right when we're winning same starting lineup same yeah. starters same starters yeah. keep the rotation the same and one thing that's happened is I think it went through a stretch of seven different games with six different starting lineups which that's really really tough right yeah because guys suddenly are in different roles and unfortunately, I don't think you don't want to do it that way. No. But injuries have played a big part of that. Yeah, injuries. I mean, obviously with, with Tavon, you know, we had to um, insert a new starting lineup, and then um, you know with Joe, we'd insert a new starting lineup, and then um, you know just trying to find some uh, consistent uh, production at the four position, um, so that you know it's been the cause of that. So um, you know, for us, um, I think right now, um, you know, we like kind of where our lineup's at. I liked what I saw, um, you know, in, in stretches in the Missouri State game. So, um, you know, probably going to see this, the same lineup there. And, um, you know, hopefully we can, you know, build a little consistency with that. I guess on that same note, you had guys who jump from being maybe role players to where yeah. you, the more featured type players. Marcus Golder obviously pops out because yeah. early in the year, he wasn't a first or second or third scoring option maybe, but he was scoring. Right, right. And now, obviously, you can look, especially the last three ball games. He's struggling right now. Yeah. And what, what is that? Just a normal maturation of a of a young player, or is it being asked to do more than you were used to? Uh, yes, right. I mean, I think anytime you move up the board on the scouting report, it becomes more difficult. You know, once you become a key or a feature, um, in um, it can be tough. And and for a while, Marcus was you know putting up fantastic numbers for us. Um, and you know he struggled a little bit of late. Um, you know the one thing about the Missouri Valley is it's uh, probably the most well scouted um, league um, that I know of. And so they know tendencies, um, they know plays, um, and really it comes down to guys jumping up and hitting shots um, and a lot of possessions. So um, and Marcus is a player that can do that. And so um, got to get his confidence back. Um, got to get him feeling good again. Um, but I think you know bringing him off the bench is going to be good for him. You did play some of the bigs together, mm -hmm. uh, certainly early on in the ball game against Missouri State. Jay Soroy did play with Derek Smits. Is that something you foresee going forward? You know, we've got again. We have to have cons some can consistent effort at the at the four position, and um, uh, you know, right now it's something that we can try. Obviously, we've had injuries. Um, John Kaiser and you know Parker. Um, been struggling a little bit, so you know, trying to get him um, a little more confidence, maybe earn it in practice, um, things of that nature. And then, you know, Derek's been one of our more, our more consistent offensive options, um, and and obviously we like what what Jay can bring us on the defensive end. So, if we're confident we can guard um, it with that with those two bigs, I think we can take advantage of our size in the offensive end. All right, Matt, before we go, tell us about Bradley, your opponent on Wednesday night. They appear to be one of the more surprised teams in the league this year. You know, I think obviously they, they've. Um, um, uh, you know, been struggled the last couple of years. Um, this year, um, they're, they're a fantastic defensive team. Um, they make every shot you take uh, difficult, um, and then they score enough on offense to beat you. And so, um, you know, for us, um, you know, we, we've got to be able to defend the three point line, and they do have some guys that can fill it up. And then um, we've just got to be able to take good shots um, and, and take them confidently. 
um, and rise up and score against their defense. Um, and so I'm expecting a low scoring game. Um, we'll see. Um, obviously, we'll be on the road, but um, we've had a couple great practices. And I, this, this, I know it's been a tough December, but this bunch has not lost its spirit. And so we're going to keep plugging forward. Um, and hopefully, um, you know, the process is going to result in some wins, um, but we can't shortcut it. You know, we just got to get better every day. Good luck, Matt. Thank you. For head coach Matt Loddick, this is Todd Eichkow. Thanks for joining us this week on Valpo Basketball Weekly.